Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to discuss another type of widget in jQuery UI. In the last video we came across the date picker widget in jQuery UI and we saw how easy it was to use that widget. Now today we'll be going through the tooltip widget and we'll see the syntax and application of this particular widget. So before we begin make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. A tooltip is basically a message which appears when a cursor is positioned over an icon, image, hyperlink or other elements in a web page. So let's go through the jQuery website once and we'll see what this widget actually does. Here is the website of jQuery UI. We have seen the usage of the date picker widget from this website and we are well aware of this website by now. So let's quickly go through the tooltip widget and then we'll start using the widget in our own program. What we'll do is we'll go to widgets and we'll look for the tooltip widget here. You can see here at the bottom this tooltip widget. Click on it and it will take us to another web page. Now here we have a text box and on hovering over the text box you can see a box with some text present inside it which says we ask for your age only for statistical purposes. This is known as the tooltip widget in jQuery UI where we can use this widget. Any idea guys? Now imagine we are working on an e-commerce website where we have certain different types of products and what we can do is we can use this tooltip over our products. It will look nice, right? It will give the user a bit of information about the product and the website will look more interactive. This was just an example of where we can use this widget. So let's use this widget in our program now. What we'll do is we'll use the same code from the previous video with an input box present inside a container. So let's make some changes over here in the HTML part first. We'll add an attribute over here we'll add the title attribute so let's write the code again we'll write this code again what we'll write here is we'll again use the p tag because we have styled the p tag already we'll write here name then we'll put some space and after this we'll write here input type is equals to text and then we'll write here id is equals to let's say tool and finally we'll write here title let's say title is enter your name here fine the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use a placeholder and inside this we'll write enter name and we'll close this input tag now fine the same task but we change the name and added the title attribute here this title attribute is a default html attribute so if you save this program for now and you can see here on taking the mouse cursor over the input box a small message appears on the screen. So this tooltip is actually very basic. This is the default HTML tooltip. Now the next thing we'll do is to use the tooltip widget. We'll use the jQuery UI tooltip widget. We'll move to a JavaScript file and we'll try to access this input box with the ID first. So here is a JavaScript file and what we'll do here is we'll try to access this input box over here. So for that we'll write here dollar and then we'll use the id. So the id is tool and then we'll write here dot tooltip. Fine. This is a method. We'll use brackets over here. So that's it. The tooltip widget will take care of the rest. Save the program. Move to the browser and you can see here if we take our cursor to this input box. We have a message over here. So this tooltip is a bit different from the HTML one, right? The tooltip is larger in size and it's a bit different as well. So what we can do is we can also make customizations to this widget. We can control the effects and animation of this widget by giving several boolean parameters and by setting their values. For example, we can track the mouse cursor here and the tooltip will move along with the mouse cursor. Just a single property we have to give and we are good to go. So let's do it here and you guys will understand it much better. What we'll do is we'll use curly braces over here and then inside here we'll write track and we'll pass the value as true. Fine. Save the program, move to the browser and you can see it on the browser that the tooltip 
tracks the mouse cursor and the box is moving along with the cursor right you can see the box moving it moves to either of the sides along with the cursor of a mouse now if you see here carefully the animation here is the fade in and fade out by default you guys can see the tooltip fading in and out on taking the mouse cursor over the input box and on taking it away from here now the next thing we can do with this widget is we can control the animation of this widget so we have two parameters to control the animation which are the show and the height property both the properties can take multiple parameters like the timestamp delay and the type of effect we want so let's say if we write here after a comma so let's say we write here show and then we have to use curly braces because we have to pass multiple parameters over here inside here what we'll do is we'll write here effect and the effect is going to be let's say slide down fine this is a predefined effect present in jquery ui already and we don't have to do anything else we just have to write the name of the effect and jquery ui will take care of the rest now here we'll write duration and the duration is going to be let's say 2000 fine then we'll also write here delay as well so we'll write here delay and delay is going to be let's say 250 fine slide down here is the effect and the duration defines the time this effect will take place for delay here is the time taken before the effect starts taking place if you want to check the output save the program go to the browser and we'll move our cursor inside the input box you can see the change in the animation the tooltip is sliding down on taking the mouse cursor to this input box and if we take it away from here the tooltip fades out right so you can see the animation it takes certain time to appear and then it suddenly goes out if we take the mouse cursor away from the input box fine now we can change the effects as well we have several effects present like we have highlight we have pulsate and we have bounce as well so let's use some more effects here what we'll do is we'll change the slide down to let's say highlight fine now the tooltip will get highlighted for some time save the program and move to the browser you can see here on taking the mouse cursor to the input box we have the tooltip highlighted for some time right another tooltip effect we have in jquery ui we have the pulsating effect as well what we can do is we can write here pulsate in place of highlight so this is another effect we have in jquery ui save the program and now the tooltip animation will change you can see on taking the mouse cursor the tooltip is pulsating right so let's move ahead and we'll now see the height feature as well we want some animation in the end as well so when we take the mouse cursor away basically for that what we can do is we can define another property over here we can write here height and the syntax will remain the same for height as well because we have to pass several parameters that's why we are using curly braces over here effect we will write here as let's say explode fine then we'll write here duration as well duration is going to be let's say 2000 fine let's remove the delay from here as well because we don't want any delay in a tooltip animation save the program now take your mouse cursor over this input box and you can see the pulsating effect here now take it out and you can see the explode effect is not working so we have to remove this L from here save it now now try to do it you can see the pulsating effect here and on taking the mouse cursor away you can see the tooltip exploding into pieces here now one more thing we can do here is we don't actually need the whole title attribute to use the tooltip what we can do is we can use this tooltip without the attribute value as well what we can do is we can remove the value from here and let's say we are removing this value from here so this is the value of our tooltip basically now save the program what we can do instead of it is we can write here content and let's write here something so let's say we are writing here this is the place for name fine we'll write here comma save it now what actually happens is jquery ui dynamically takes this value from content and puts it inside this title attribute now this will work totally fine save the program move to the browser and take your cursor over this and you can see we have the 
tooltip widget as this is the place for name and when we take the cursor away from this input box you can see the tooltip exploding into pieces so these are the customizations we can make in the tooltip widget in the jquery ui the list of features is quite long so you guys can check them by going through the website the task for you guys now is you have to put this tooltip over an image and see the result let us know if you face any sort of problem and we'll be more than happy to help you guys so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through accordion widget control in jquery if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you